Hey, what's going on? Rakeem Madison here. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about keyword research for Bing ads. All right. Now, I know you're probably a busy person, so I want to go ahead and get right into the content. But before we do that, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Also, tick the bell icon if you want more videos just like this one right here. All right. All right. So with that being said, let's jump right into today's content. So you're here because you obviously want to increase the amount of results that you're getting on your Bing ad campaigns. So the first thing I want to get into, which is very important when you're doing any type of search, um, you know, advertising, whether it's Google ads, Bing ads or whatever, you want to focus on buyer keywords rather than focusing on shopping keywords. Now I'm going to, I'm going to talk about them and then I'm going to show you the difference between the two. Okay. All right. So shopping keywords is basically people who are just kind of window, they're, they're window shoppers. They're not looking to buy anything. They're just kind of looking, wasting away time. And literally you will burn a hole in your pocket. If you just, just put you bid on shopping keywords that people are just kind of clicking all around and you, they're literally just costing you money. You don't want to do that. Right. So buyer keywords, on the other hand, buyer keywords, you're you're putting your message right in front of people who are willing to pull out their credit card and buy. Now, that doesn't necessarily recommend that everybody that clicks on that is actually going to buy from you, but it gives you a higher chance of getting in front of those people. And those are the people that you want to get in front of. Now, let's talk about the difference. Now, with shopping keywords, you may get a ton of clicks. You may get uh, way higher impressions, but like I said, it's not targeted people at all. It's just people who are looking, who are not willing to buy what you have. Now, on the other hand, buyers, you're not going to have as much impressions and you're not going to have as much clicks, but at least you're getting the right people in front of what you have that are more likely to buy from you. Okay. So those are the difference between those. Now let's, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize my, uh, camera here and put it down in the right corner and i'm going to go right here into the being back office so give me just a moment all right so now you should see inside the being back office now as you can see i have a campaign running currently right at this time um, but what i want to do um, is i'm going to go here to the tool right i want to go here to the keyword planner tool now this is one way that you can actually do research on Bing, and then i'll show you the other way that you can do research and it's pretty much giving you the live data okay so okay just give it a minute here guys uh, once it populates then i'll kind of show you pretty much the difference between the two types of keywords all right it's taking a little bit a little bit longer than i really want it to but yeah guys um you you don't want to waste your time on shopping keywords because literally even if you have a large budget and you only and you only focus it on keywords that are just looky you're going to find a lot of looky loos you will burn a hole in your pocket i promise you you will um let's let's refresh this so we can kind of speed this up uh i don't know why it's going so slow okay there we go all right so guys um what, what i did when i first got started and i still do this um but I, I like to look at the live data as well um so i usually use the actual search box and i'll show you that after i show you this so now what i'm going to do is let's say for instance I'm looking for, um, uh, let's just say, uh, let's just use Pitbull, for example. Pitbull, Pitbull dogs. Okay, looks like it's slowing down again. All right, so Pitbull dogs. Okay, let's just, let's just put that in there, and I'm going to show you the difference. Now, with somebody that's typing in Pitbull dogs, that's not someone, if somebody's searching that, they're just looking to figure out about pit bull dogs, right? They're trying to see different dogs. They're not clear on what type of dog they want, right? So that's that would be considered a shopping keyword, All right. So here we go, boom, and it's gonna pull up. Let me go to the actual keywords down here, keyword suggestions. Now you see pit bull quote dogs, pit bull uh, puppy pit bull sale. Now this would be an example since this actually popped up. This right here would be what you would call a buyer keyword because 
This is somebody, puppy pit bull for sale. They're looking to buy a dog. Now, versus the pit bulls, uh, pit bull dogs, that's just somebody who's just looking to see pit bull dogs. They're not willing to pull out that credit card, right? Let's keep going to see if we find any more. Pit bull quote dogs, that's nothing. Okay, pit bull puppies. They're just looking for pit bull puppies. That doesn't necessarily mean that they want to buy pit bull puppies. Hopefully you guys are getting what I'm saying, you know, as far as like when you're advertising, because you will burn money away if you go for shopping keywords. Um, let's see what else we can find. Uh, let's see. Uh, puppy pit bull information. I wouldn't consider that a buyer keyword right, right there at all because, yeah, they're just one. They're looking for more information on it. Uh, obviously, this wouldn't be puppy pit bulls for free. Obviously, they're not looking to spend any money. Uh, let's see. Let's keep going. Uh, pit bull pets, not a buyer keyword. Okay, so here we go again. Puppy pit bulls sale. Okay, and you can see that gets 20 searches uh, per month. Now, I know you guys are looking at this. If you're familiar with Bing, a lot of times it'll show you lower data, but trust me, you get a ridiculous amount of data. So to be completely honest, this is not that accurate. I'm just being completely honest with you. Okay, so let's continue to go down. Okay, big put big pit bull dog. That's nothing. All right, so here we go. Here's a buyer keyword right here. What is the price for pit bull dog? OK, that is what we what we consider a, a, a buyer keyword, because if somebody is asking the price for a dog, that is a dead on lead for you. OK, so depending on, you know, however your business goes, not saying everybody has a dog business, but those are the type of keywords that people are searching in if they're willing to pull out their credit card. OK, so the difference really is. This is somebody who's just typing something in because they want to look, you know, at some different pit bull dogs. You don't really know what their intent is on that. Now, going back down here, this would be a buyer keyword, puppy pit bull sale, or what is the price for a pit bull dog? How can I find a dog, a pit bull dog under $500? Like when you have those, those are going to be your gold keywords. Trust me what I'm telling you. All right, so if we continue to go, uh, let's try something else just to kind of give you another example. Um, let's see. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Um, greyhounds. I don't know why I'm going with dogs right now, but <laughs> greyhounds, greyhound dogs. All right, same, same concept really applies. Uh, this is just, you know, a shopping keyword, right? This is not somebody looking to buy. Now let's see if they have any uh, buyer keywords. All right. So where can I find Greyhound dogs sale? Okay. Boom. There's a buyer keyword right there. Uh, let's keep going down. Greyhound pets, pet sale. Now, even though that doesn't make any sense, guys, you will literally drive traffic from some of those things because they will still populate or, or around certain other keywords that have that are similar. So this is why those are those are powerful. Now let's continue to go down, see what else we find. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, let's see what else we find here. Um, this one, Greyhound dogs sale near me. As you can see, it's pulling some data in, even though it's saying low. Okay, so that would be another what we would call a buyer keyword. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, don't really ever see any more buyer keywords on here, but I'm sure if I was to actually look. Um, you know, once I actually get on the actual search engine and show you, I'll, I'll show you some more different examples. So that's using the actual keyword planner. Now, um, as I said, when I first started the video, um, you know, I have a campaign that's running right now and, you know, that campaign is full of buyer keywords because I don't want to waste any time. And so I'm not looking you know, to, um, you know, to, to, to just get a whole bunch of clicks and a whole bunch of impressions. I could care less about getting a ridiculous amount of eyes if those eyes aren't the targeted eyes that I'm looking for. So in that case, I focus on buyer only. And so I only show up in front of those people. Okay. Now let's go over here to the Bing search engine, right? Cause this is where um, I do my research as well. I use the keyword planner, but I want to see the live data as well. Okay. So here we go. So what I want to do is I'm going to type buy. Okay. So here we go. Buy a pit bull puppy online. As you can see, that was something that I already um, did some research on. Okay. Now buy, let's just type Greyhound, kind of go with what we uh, pretty much go with what we were already going with. Buy Greyhound dog. Boom. 
right there by greyhound dog so that's obviously somebody who's searching that already if they're looking for that they're looking to buy them a greyhound dog now let's see uh, let's try another one uh buy hmm let's see let's see um buy gold look at this guys buy gold online now that may be that to me that's kind of a little bit still broad but hopefully you guys are getting what I'm saying here. Most of the time, if somebody is looking for something, I'm trying to see if I can find something else. Where can I buy? Okay. So when, when people are starting off like this, right? So where can I buy Velcro? Where can I buy Jordan 12 uh, gym shoe? Where can I buy the Nike D3400 body only? So when they get that clear, on what they're searching for and they find your ad just happens to pop up in front of them I'm not saying I'm not guaranteeing that they're gonna buy every time but those are gonna be the right people and that is really the key to really getting results on being it really is okay so where can I buy CBD oil where can I buy gold where can I buy dry ice right and I think you know you could probably even get as clear as the amount check it out guys where can I buy $20 Amazon gift cards? Where can I buy $1 coins? Where can I buy $2 bills? So these are really clear. These are what you call buyer keywords. I'm glad, you know, I'm glad I was able to share this with you guys. I've been, you know, I've been working behind the scenes with beings for quite some quite some time now. And really what I found is when you focus on buyer keywords and you forget about the waste of time shopping keywords that pretty much a lot of people are searching for, and you might get a lot of impressions and a lot of clicks, but I'm telling you, you will burn a hole in your pocket. All right. So hopefully you guys got some value from this video and hopefully, you know, you know, you, you probably watch this again so you can really get what I'm saying. If I didn't make it as clear, I know I kind of got on like, you know, I was kind of repeating, see, may, maybe seeing like I was repeating a lot of this stuff over and over. But it's very important if you want to save a lot of money and, you know, get actual results because I want to help you get results. And that's why, you know, I'm, I'm bringing these videos to you guys because these are the things that are going to help you get to the results that you're looking for okay so if you got some value from this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, with that being said i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video here on the channel all right peace